Number three. Ay, no. Number... Ay, no, I'm going to start that. Ay, no. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome back to our channel. We provide entrepreneurs, business owners, podcasters, and content creators like you with the tools you need to plan, produce, and launch a successful podcast. You probably heard that storytelling is increasingly becoming a key component of marketing strategies for brands around the world. Now more than ever, brands, businesses, and entrepreneurs are sharing content in the form of videos, blogs, visuals, and audio using storytelling to entertain, educate, create awareness, and connect with their audiences at a deeper level. So you're probably wondering how you can incorporate storytelling into your marketing strategy in a way that is effective and genuine? Don't worry, on today's video, we will go over the story structure, the process of creating a story, and the different ways you can use to share your stories, with our favorite being podcasting. So stay with me until the end to find out why podcasting is one of the most effective mediums to share your stories. On our next video, we will be teaching you about the different storytelling techniques you can use in your podcast episodes. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notification every time we release a new video. Okay, let's get to it. Number one, why you should be using stories to communicate with your audience. Stories are well-constructed narratives that take the reader, viewer, or listener on a journey with the narrator. Stories are a very effective form of human connection because our brains love stories. Character-driven narrative makes the brain release oxytocin, which is the neurochemical responsible for enhancing the feelings of empathy and our ability to experience others' emotions. High levels of oxytocin in our system creates in us the urgency to take action arising from the story. This idea connects with Simon Sinek's idea of the golden circle. The golden circle contains the pillars of any organization, the why, the how, and the what. The why being why you do what you do, the how, how will this help your audience, and the what, what are you offering. Successful brands are able to communicate the why by using storytelling. This is why brands, businesses, and entrepreneurs use stories to cut through the noise, set themselves apart from their competitors, and create brand loyalty by creating a deeper connection with their audiences. So now that you know stories are important, let's talk about what makes a good story. Number two, storytelling structure. There are tried and true essential elements of storytelling that are used constantly from storytellers of all mediums. We'll expand on this in our next video, but to summarize, great stories will include relatable characters. You need to define the characters in your story and make them relatable. Deciding which point of view to tell your story from can help you set the tone and the intention of your story. For example, a first person character or speaking in the I or me form is a very confessional and personal option. Here is you telling relatable stories about you, your brand, your dreams, and your mission. Using second person character or speaking in the you form allows you to talk directly to your audience by using them as the main character. For this, you want to use real stories about a particular client, listener, user, or follower of your brand. If you're using this type of character, make sure you know your audience really well. This includes being familiar with their pain points, their fears, their dreams, their desires, their struggles. And third person, or speaking in the she or he form, is also an effective way of telling stories about others that your listeners will find compelling. For example, by describing situations of real members of your audience and how problems were solved by you and your efforts, you can make people empathize with the pain that person experienced, and they will also feel pleasure in their resolution. 
there are so many interesting ways that you can share stories from your business or brand. You can share your own perspective or the origin story of your company. You can include your customers into your show and share their stories. And you can tell the stories of other inspiring characters who are relevant to your niche. In addition to relatable characters, great stories will have a conflict or something the character is grappling with. They will then wrestle with this conflict through rising action until a climax or a punchline, and then finally a resolution. Number three, the process of creating an effective story. Now that we know the importance of storytelling, the different points of view we can use and the common story arc our character will go through, let's move on to the process of writing a good story. The first thing you need to do before you start writing your story is to know your audience really well. Knowing your audience allows you to speak directly to their desires, dreams, fears, and struggles. The second thing you need is a message. What is the core message of your story? Do you want to educate, inspire, raise awareness of certain issues, or get your audience to know you? And remember, always to finish your story with a resolution and a call to action. Don't leave your audience hanging. Send them off with a plan of action or a message. Also, ask your audience to visit your website, follow you on social media, or subscribe to your channel or newsletter. Now that you have a story, choose a medium to share your story, video, audio, graphics, pictures, or copy. And this takes us to number four, use podcasting to tell your stories. If you aren't using podcasting as a way to connect with your audience, build authority, and tell stories, you're really missing out. Audio is a very effective and intimate way to tell stories. Like reading, listening requires your brain to stay active and engaged, since it has to process information at the pace the audio is played. So this makes it more effective than reading. Audio storytelling also has advantages over video storytelling. You can listen to podcasts or audiobooks while performing other tasks, like driving, walking, exercising, things that you wouldn't be able to do if you were watching a video. Other advantages of using podcasting for storytelling marketing are low production cost, less time consuming, production is practical and portable, and it can be produced entirely by one person. It is an intimate and non-invasive way to approach your audience. You will be speaking directly in their ears. If you're ready to start your podcast and want to learn the basics and where to begin, we have a really helpful playlist you can find right here that's perfect for beginners. And there you go, Podskis, some quick food for thought. Hopefully, you're starting to see the many benefits podcasting can offer your business, brand, or professional endeavors. Here at the Pod Sound School, we can help you with all your podcasting needs. Make sure you tune in next week when we dive deeper into podcast storytelling techniques. And in the meantime, make sure you come and say hi to us on Twitter and Instagram at Pod Sound School and join our Facebook group, Podcasting for Buses. And before you go, the same two things. No olviden hacer la tarea and don't forget to subscribe. Happy casting, amigos!